I haven't slept this late in days. Weeks, even. The repetition is far too familiar. Cold feet, cold hands, and no sleep. It's definitely November. Some people might think it's weird that I brush my teeth before I eat breakfast. I think it's normal. I mean, who likes the taste of morning breath with your bowl of cereal in the morning, anyway? Chompers, molars, cheeks, and tongue. Never forget the tongue. Breakfast and I have a love-hate relationship. Love because, well, it's food. And hate because usually, and by usually I mean always, I'm in too much of a rush to willingly wolf down a piece of dry, expired, freezer-burnt toast. But today's Thursday. Thursday means no school till late, which also means that I get to engage in this thing called breakfast once again. Also means I get to catch up on things that normal people would do more than once a week. Like dishes. And laundry. Is it odd that I find joy in something as tedious and boring as laundry? If you were a student in my program, I'm sure you'd understand exactly what I'm talking about. School. School is like jumping off a cliff into the sea and not knowing how deep the ocean floor is. And by the time you find out if you're going to live or die, you're already halfway to the water and there's no going back. I think I've gotten over the fear of how deep I've gotten myself into this situation, but sometimes I think we all just need a little push. Like my cat, refuses to come in the cat door, especially when there's someone else on the other side. Weirdo. Laundry and feeding my cat are small distractions from the looming cloud over my head. Will I have a job when I get out of here? Or better yet, will I graduate? Will I leave with work that I like? Having a mind so consumed by education almost make me feel as though I am more absent-minded than ever before. Other times, I feel like my brain is full of so much arbitrary information that it might implode. Like if I try and squeeze one more fact into my brain or due date into my calendar, my classmates will have to commit me to an insane asylum. People always say things like, it'll get better, and you can do it, and you don't have that much time left anyway. A simple nod is usually the only response I can offer. I don't think I'll believe it's over until it's actually over. For now, I can just get used to the cold feet, cold hands, and no sleep. Wear some funky socks. Like I said, I find joy in, well, laundry. Red sweater. Purple shoes. November. Stop. <laughs>